a real place in New York, in New York, is called the Original Suit Man, was actually the inspiration for the famous Seinfeld episode with the Soup Nazi, of course. When I worked in New York and was an intern on one of the shows, they would send me out there to get soups and bring it back. It was it that good? Peep. It was that good. Well, here's Absolutely. a clip just to remind you. Medium turkey chili. <laughs> Medium crab bisque. You want bread? Yes, please. Three dollars. <laughs> no soup for you. You want something? Mm. No soup for you. Come back. One year. Jambalaya. I want jambalaya, just like Newman. Uh, Al is here with us. Well, his friend is anyway, because he's not talking today. Hi, Dan. Good to see you, my man. Good morning. So, uh, you knew the real Al, not the character on Seinfeld, but the character on Seinfeld actually kind of looks like Al. Well, Al is a real person, and he's the founder of the original Soup Man, and he uses the highest quality ingredients, unique spices, to make his world-famous soups. Well, I used to go there when I lived in New York. We used to go there all the time, 55th Street, right at 8th Ave. But about two years ago, I went back and it was closed. Are you reopened? We've reopened the store. We now do franchising. And we brought our newest franchise edition, the Soupmobile, which is the first national truck program for food franchising. Now, what do you mean by that? Can I come up to this somewhere in the city? Someone can do, um, someone can open a Soupman franchise in the truck, in the truck or a cart and be able to serve Al's famous soups in their own community at a much lower startup cost okay. than a typical restaurant. Okay, now I noticed that, that maybe the soup can has gone away. Where can I get these boxes of the Soup Man soup this in Philly? Well, they're available in Walmart, Safeway, and Weiss, and it's the newest line of Soup Man soups in this Tetra Recart package. There are seven varieties. It's a uh, heat and serve product. What about Jambalaya? One of our favorites. Okay, have you made it? Is that? I do have jambalaya. Look down it. Look down in here. Oh, and it's 27 degrees right now. Uh, the soup will make you warm. It's loaded with shrimp, scallops, and duly spicy sausage and chunks of chicken. But Dan told me that he makes something. It, I, it looks like a burrito made of soup. How's that humanly possible? We call it a jambarito. Okay. And we actually ladle some brown rice. So we can do this at home. Right. Course. You wouldn't want to make it such a mess at home, but well, yeah. And slap the jambalaya right there on it. There we go, right on it. And now we wrap this up. This is a cost of $1.50 a wrap with one box of soup selling for about three, three fifty. You can create a meal for a family of four for under $6. Okay, now what do you have plated over there? This is what we call lobster ravioli. And what we do is we take another box of original soup man lobster bisque Ladle it on top of cheese ravioli. Okay. Down on the end here. As Elaine said, I mentioned the bisque. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Now we've added some additional lobster to this. Well, that's nice of you. But just to give you an idea, a dollar sixty-five a portion. How is that for restaurant quality dining with soup man soups out of the supermarket? Okay, so uh, again, yes, Walmart, Walmart, Safeway, and Weiss. You demand. Thank you. Say hello to Al for us, okay? I will do that. What a classic Seinfeld episode. Uh, yes, I will bring it in. How do you know? You don't know us. Well, okay, fine, you do. We're like, why did he go over that? Put lobster ravioli, bring it in. Oh, Chris I know. Murphy's in here, too, so you need three bowls. That's funny. That looks fantastic. And you can get it at the store. I just tried the jambalaya. It's good.